Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today I'm going to talk about our work, MixST, which is a transformer-based model for video 3D human pose estimation in a Seek2Seek paradigm. The definition of our task is that reconstructs 3D body joint locations from the input images or video. But because of estimating from the monocular observations, there are many challenges, the main problem is depth ambiguity. For video pose estimation from 2D keypoints, temporal consistency and input uncertainty are also severe issues. So learning better spatio-temporal correlation is very important to address these challenges. Related works on 3D pose estimation in the video can be categorized into Seek2Seek and Seek2Frame paradigms. The former methods based on LSTM or RNN cannot parallel over time, and most of them lack the global modeling ability on long sequences. While Seek2 frame methods ignore the temporal motion among body joints, most SOTA methods increase the redundant calculation. Therefore, current spatiotemporal correlation methods are insufficient and low efficiency. Recent works introduced the transformer to 3D human pose estimation task to improve the spatiotemporal correlation modeling ability, but the single frame method always has jitter results in video input, and the performance is still not good enough. The video based method follows Seek 2 frame paradigm and has redundant computation. We also find Pose Former performs poorly under Seek 2 Seek setting, even Transformer is a sequential model. So we have a natural question why not try to utilize Transformer to the Seek 2 Seek paradigm to obtain high efficiency and good performance? Following this idea, we have two main challenges how to design a model to obtain better spatiotemporal modeling ability and how to take advantage of global correlations between sequences in video. The key observation for these challenges is that each joint has a different motion in a video sequence, so we can learn better spatiotemporal correlation from this viewpoint. We propose the MixSTE, which consists of two modules, joint separation and alternating design. In particular, we separate different joints in the time dimension, so that the trajectory of each joint is an individual token, and different joints of the body are modeled paralleled. And we stack spatial and temporal encoders for D-loops, and the dimension of the feature is preserved as a fixed size to promise that spatial-temporal correlation learning focuses on the same joint. The MixSTE first takes the video RGB frame into a 2D detector and generate the keypoint sequence, and then the keypoints are projected to hidden features with a linear embedding layer. The spatial positional embedding is utilized in a random initialization way before the fed to encoders. We follow the vanilla self-attention mechanism to design our spatial transformer block. The spatial self-attention focuses on the extract correlations between joints in a single frame. Then we separate different joints to make sure different motions can be learned in the temporal encoder. The temporal transformer block focuses on learning motion trajectories of each joint of the body over frame sequence. The hidden features are then fed back to the spatial transformer block, which constructs a loop. This is our alternating design and it keeps DL times. At last, we regress the features to a 3D pose sequence, and two loss functions are exploited to supervise the precision and consistency. Here are our comparison results under MPJP on human 3.6M benchmark using CPN detector. The red circle indicates our best performance. The bottom table is results using 2D ground truth. The main experimental results show that MixST as a Seek2Seek method first outperforms the Seek2 frame methods. Here are other results on 3D HP and human EVA benchmarks. At last, let's watch the qualitative results of MixST. Thank you for watching.